We'll start with uh, this one right here. So this is actually, this should be uh, Pythagorean theorem number one. This is going to be our first one for today. So we'll do Pythagorean theorem number one. This one is from the multiple subject exam from the CSET. So I'll write down here uh, CSET exam in California. It's an elementary school exam. And this is number 44 on the multi subject exam for CSET in California for elementary school teachers. Take a moment, uh, read it over. Pause, pause me now, pause the video. Let's look at the problem. On this CSET problem for elementary school teachers, I, I'm hoping you see this word diagram. And right away, you see that this is a diagram of a right triangle. Who sees that? You should be able to see. I'm taking a math test, I see a diagram, it's a diagram of a right triangle. So automatically, but before you, you do anything in your mind, you should be thinking right away, right triangle, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. All right, and then it says, we'll, 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 we'll read this over. We have Main Street here, it's perpendicular to West Street, there's a cross street. It says Main Road and West Road are perpendicular and intersect at point A. Okay. Uh, I'll circle this right here, perpendicular. That means that they meet at 90 degrees. Cross Street intersects Main Street, uh, Main Road, eight, kilo, eight kilometers from point A, and intersects West Road, six kilometers from point A. What is CB, the length of Cross Road? All right, so let's think about that there. We have a triangle, a right triangle. We got, a, we got some sides here. We got this length here is six. This length here is eight. We're trying to find out that hypotenuse, that cross street or, or our C. And we have this formula. So we could use this formula. Let's imagine that six here is A, eight here is B, and we'll just leave the cross street as C. Let's just do the formula out. A squared, A squared would be six squared, plus B squared would be eight squared, is equal to C squared. Six squared is 36 plus eight squared is what? 64 is equal to C squared. Now it's really important, uh, it doesn't matter the level you're at, but if you're an elementary school teacher and you haven't done the Pythagorean theorem, do it with me, just talk it out with me, okay? And if you're a high school teacher, you need to look at this one to just uh, see how this math, with maybe you're sitting in your seat being like, this is super easy. You gotta see how the same math that's in this problem exists in the problem that we're gonna do later on in about five minutes, 10 minutes, okay? Well, let's just work this out here. We're using the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of C. So we add up A squared plus B squared, 36 plus 64, we get 100 is equal to C squared. And to find this hypotenuse here, I'm gonna square root both sides. We just said before the square root of C squared is C. The square root of 100 though, square root of 100 is 10. So cross street is 10, 10 kilometers. The answer is B. Not that bad. Let's do a harder problem using the same math, okay? Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. This spring, Go Academy is turning all the workshops into webinars. This is designed to help teachers continue studying and getting ready for their exams and stay at home at a safe distance. These classes are gonna be covering the same material as a regular workshop. We're gonna do them in seven hours, and they're held on Saturdays and Sundays in the morning, from seven to 10.30 on Saturday and Sunday. These classes are geared for teachers that are gonna be studying April and taking their tests late April, May, and June. And we'll also be doing webinars throughout the summer. I encourage you to check out a webinar. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful.